Okay, so let's think about this very intuitively. Okay, so what I want to have happen here is I don't want my type smash against smashing against our container box. So how can you create a rule for multiple tags? Well, the same way I did right here. So there's nothing to select. Okay, I'm going to click right here and make sure I have compound selected. Compound simply means combination of tags. I'm going to P comma H1 comma H2 comma H3 comma H4 comma H5. Now, very rarely an H6 tag, so we're going to ignore the H6 tag. We're just going to say create a rule structure for the P, H1 to H5 separated by commas. Now, here's my objective. Here's what I want to be able to do. Okay, based on these choices, category box, box category. I'm going to deselect him for all. So to the right, I want to have responsive design in percentages. We're going to make this 2% to the right and 2% to the left. So if I hit the apply option, you'll notice that it pulls in 2%. 2% to the left and the right because it's a responsive design. I'm working with percentages. Very important step here. Okay, make a change, save a change. Okay, now one of the rules we have not put on the page right now is the body tag rule. So how can I do that? Well, in order to affect the tag, I need to select the tag. The body tag can be used for setting the default typeface and the default type size. So we're going to select the body tag and come over here, select the tag, and make a rule. And again, I don't want to say P for paragraph. I just want to say tag, tag, you're it, tag, you're it, tag, body. Hit OK. And I'm going to pick a font family of Tacoma. OK. Now, by default, this defaults to 16 pixels of height. Now, 16 pixels equals 1 M space because how an EM space works, EM is equal to the height of a capital M for that particular typeface. So we're just going to put in one EM. Now, if you want to know more about this in detail, subscribe to my videos on YouTube.com. I'm sorry, on Udemy.com. You're watching YouTube.com. Udemy.com, and I'll have a link in our video that you can subscribe to a discounted coupon to my video series, which I go very in-depth in every detail. So if I hit the apply option, it's going to change the typeface, and it's going to default my body copy to be 1M. Okay, now I'm going to come down here to the section article tag. I'm going to hit the return key. I'm going to go to insert, warm, and more, and let's put in two paragraphs of content. I'm going to do the same thing with the aside tag. Hit the return key, come up here to insert, form and more, and let's put in, let's put in some corporate mumbo jumbo. Boom. Now, if this is too much corporate mumbo jumbo, which it is, let's just delete some of this. I only want to have maybe a paragraph and a half of corporate mumbo jumbo. Sometimes you can have too much corporate mumbo jumbo on your site. So the rule should be two paragraphs of corporate mumbo jumbo. Just kidding. Okay. Now, what I need to do here is go back up to the top. So I already set the rule structure for the P, the H1, the H2, etc., etc. So therefore, it's going to have some kind of padding on the left and padding on the right. Okay. Now, we now want to start structuring the page. Okay. So how can I do that? Well, very simply, okay, so what we need to do here very simply is not put in those extra spaces there. So what we're going to do, now we can do this with div tags, but we have HTML5 tags because these are responsive design tags that will work with multiple devices, digital devices, iPhone, iPad, Android, plus they're more user friendly with search engines. Okay, so here's my objective. I want to make my branding, my header tag here, be 60% across the page. Then nav tag is going to be 40%. So how can I do that? Well, in order to affect the tag, I need to select the tag. We're going to select the tag right here and create a rule for that tag. Select the tag and make a rule. In order to affect the tag, we need to select the tag. So I can very simply, based on these choices, 
go to box category and make this simply 60%. How cool is that? I don't have to float to the left or do anything because these rules right here already told it to do that. So therefore, it's a parent-child relationship. The header tag is going to get by default its marching orders from header, nav, section, article aside. So I hit OK. So you'll see that that's now taking up 60%. Now 60%, the last time I checked, if, for those of you that didn't sleep through fourth grade math class, I want the nav tag to take up 40%. So how can I do that? Well, I select the tag, select the tag, and make a rule. In order to affect the tag, we need to select the tag. That's how all software works. In fact, guys and girls, that's how life works. In order to affect something, you need to select something. So I go less specific and hit OK. Then based on these choices, I'm going to make this 40%. Now watch what doesn't happen here. Very important step here. If I hit the apply option right now, I want the nav tag to go up here. So you're going to say, well, how come it's not working? Is there something wrong with my software? Do I need to call Adobe Tech Support? Do I need to quit my 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 computer, restart it again? Maybe I got a virus. Something's happening here because I know that 60% and 40% makes 100%. The wrapper set to 100%. So why is this not working? The answer is because you didn't program it to work. You didn't tell it to work. Okay. So very very important step. These rules are going to affect the header rule. Header was set up to flow to the left clear to the left so it's going to clear this section by default i don't want it to clear this section so i say based on these choices i say clear clear none i don't want it to clear so therefore if i the apply option bingo bango it applies right there so there's my nav section etc etc now we don't have rules for the header the H1, H2 tag as far as size goes. So we're going to do that next in our next video.